The Satin Bowerbird. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm looking for objects written on this list. Do you want to help me? Oh, great job, Hero. You found a ball. Hey, that's my sock. I've been looking for it. And this must be Katie's ribbon. Why are they all here? Did you take the blue objects from us? Is blue its favorite color? I wonder what kind of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hey, Katie. I've sent you a picture of a bird that seems to like blue objects. Hi, Leo. Wow, that's a beautiful bird. I've never seen it before. It must love the color blue. It just picked up another blue object. Can you find more information about it? Of course. I've already started. Great. I'll be right up. Hero, you stay here and watch your new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find out what kind of bird this is? We're about to find out in three, two... There you go. This bird is a satin bowerbird. A satin bowerbird? I've never heard of those birds before. So they come mainly from the east coast of Australia. That's right. The one in our garden is an adult male. Females and young males are greenish in color. They live in the woods and eat fruit, leaves, and some insects. They are called bowerbirds because the males build a bower to attract females. A bower? A bower is a structure only built by male bowerbirds. It is built on the ground. It looks like a bird's nest. But a bower is not a nest. Nests are where female birds lay their eggs. A bower is only used by male bowerbirds to attract female bowerbirds. This satin bowerbird might have built his bower somewhere, but it got lost. We should help him find his bower. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Hello, Junior Rangers. Hi, Hi Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Is that a satin bower bird I see? Yes. We want to help him find his bower. That's wonderful, Junior Rangers. Remember, only male bower birds make bowers. Some bower birds make bowers with a roof, while other bower birds make bowers with just two walls. The satin bower bird makes a U-shaped bower out of twigs. When a female satin bowerbird arrives, the blue-eyed male starts dancing and making loud noises. If the female is interested, she will enter the bower. Oh, and while building its bower, the male also collects blue, yellow, and shiny objects to place around the bower as decoration. They mostly prefer blue objects. Oh, that's why it was taking blue objects from us. In the wild, they usually use blue flowers, berries, or feathers. But if it lives near humans, the satin bowerbird sometimes steals blue objects from them. In fact, sometimes they even destroy people's fruit and vegetable plants. 
so it's better if they don't live too close to people. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a house with red flowers and trees with red fruits around it. And here is a path leading to a forest. I see blue flowers and blue berries. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a house with red flowers and trees with red fruits around it. And over there is a forest with blue flowers and blue berries. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the forest to keep it away from humans and because the satin bowerbird likes blue items. Let's go! Hey, Satin Bowerbird, wait for us! Look, Katie, is that a bower? It is, Leo, which means we found it. But why is it taking things from the bower and putting it in the jeep? Um, I don't know. Hello, Junior Rangers. I forgot to tell you something important. Sometimes bower birds destroy bowers from other birds by stealing their decoration or removing twigs. Oh no, so that's what it's doing now. Thanks for telling us, Ranger Rocky. No, bower bird, you shouldn't do that. He won't stop. Hey, where are you going, hero? Oh, Hero, that's a brilliant idea. The bird seems more interested in the flowers now. He completely forgot about the bower. Nice work, Hero. Let's quickly fix the bower before its owner comes back. Look, the owner of the bower is back. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. To make the bower bird happy, just look for the bird's bower. Not for a wizard's tower or a giant sunflower, but look for the bird's bower. I see. So not for a wizard's tower or a giant sunflower, but, but look, look for, for the, the bird's, bird's bower. bower. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, hero. To make the bower bird happy, you have to look for his bower. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the bower of our bower bird. Is that a bower? No, it's a bird's nest. The bower should be on the ground. So let's continue. Is that a bower? It is! But there's already a bird. Let's move on. Oh, look! What's that? It's an unfinished bower, and there are no other birds. I think we may have found our bird's bower. Well done, Hero! We found the bower of our satin bower bird. Great work, everyone! Yay! We found a satin bowerbird in our garden. We learned that male bowerbirds build bowers to attract females. So we took him to the rainforest to look for his bower. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. 